206 laps to go. So we're just shy of halfway. But he goes inside the box. What do you think, Kevin? Hamlin fires off. And Elliott is right with him, headed for turn one. Well, that's the that's the hard part of, of going that late in the box. For whatever reason, it just becomes hard to, to gain an advantage as a leader. So well, and that's exactly why he didn't do it last weekend. I mean, it takes the advantage away from you the longer you wait. Look at this. Chase Elliott to the lead. Cleared him. It also made every every person in the grandstand stand up. Look at this. All right. Most popular driver back in the lead. Denny's car is not taking off quite as good as he would like to. That tells me she's set up probably low on air, set up for that long run. Still a lot of action on the outside. Logano, even with Bowman, that's for fifth place. And Byron with Briscoe for seventh. See Ryan Blaney right there in the 12 car on two tires right in the middle of all this action. It'll be interesting to see how long he can hang on with those two tires and if he can keep his track position. We noted right before uh, while we were in break, Clint, just how many cars he had passed since he had his problems on pit road. Well, the other pro the difference is between him and what I saw in Logano is Logano had the affordability of that clean air leading out there all by himself. That saved a lot of tire. He was able to manage that. Blaney's not going to have that opportunity, Mart, in this traffic like that. He's going to have to have his elbows up, leaning on those tires, whether it's the right front of that right rear, a lot more as he's trying to race door to door with cars. Yeah. Right, right now is is not it's not going to be as bad as it is in 50 laps. That's when it'll really show up like it did with Joey Logano, and you just hope that tire doesn't come apart like Joey's did. See him preload the shifter, reach up, either turn on a fan. It was too quick to grab the brake bias. So explain preload, please. Yeah, you'll see his Ryan Blaney's right hand. He'll preload the shifter by putting some pressure, pulling back on it, and the, that car will fall right into gear when it gets close to the rev limiter. That's just something that the teams have, have figured out. Just a quicker way to shift. You don't have to let off the throttle. I was going to say, so what you're saying is he's, he's leaving it wide open. As soon as it That's just right. barely bumps the rev limiter, that thing falls right into gear. It takes it takes pressure. And how you relieve that pressure is either let out of the gas or, like you're saying, hit that rev limiter, just bump it just ever so slightly, takes that pressure off them gears, goes right back into the next one. Twenty percent of the laps that Chase Elliott has led in his cup career have come here at Martinsville. Look at this three wide on the outside of those two tires. Careful boys. Yeah the two tires on that 54 car has put him in a position where he is just getting beat around in the middle of traffic. He's all over the place. Yellow waves turn four Christopher Bell spins around. That'll be the fourth caution of the day. Not been a good day for Christopher Bell and company. They got, hey, as I say that, it's about as lucky as it gets as the right front lug nut falls off the wheel and it stays in there. That was a very lucky situation that they were able to uh, survive. So Bell stays two laps down. Michael McDowell should be the free pass on this, the fourth caution flag. Does this put us in any kind of a window? You like it, Larry? We're going to stay out? What are we doing? It, it's it's a bit of a stretch to make it for here. If you could stretch it to 175 laps, and right now we got 197. So uh, Bell was inside Kaz Grala when the car broke loose there. Yeah, it looks like he just spun all on his own. Yep. And who, who knows the, the damage that that right front tire did and what it did to the balance and dragging everything on the bottom of the car when the tire was flat. That's right. It certainly didn't help anything. Yeah, it just spun out. Trying to stay off the car on the outside. Hang on, touch. Lost it. Yeah, and in that, in that dark strip of rubber,